Hi everyone, it's Miss Christine again from the Conco Library exploring some animals for our Tales and Tales reading program this summer. Today we are going to think pink because pink is for blobfish. You can pick up some blobfish slime later to make from the library. The world of weird animals is going to tell us not only about the blobfish but about some other animals that are pink. Think you know pink? Think again. Pink is for blobfish. Bizarre blobfish are made of a gelatinous goo, which is less dense than water. This allows them to lazily drift through the ocean like bloated balloons. Blobfish don't hunt for food. Instead, when something edible floats by, they simply open their mouths and gulp it down. Pink is for pink-toed tarantulas. It is very easy to spot mysterious Antilles pink-toed tarantulas in pet stores, but much harder to find them in the wild. At night, they scurry out of their funnel webs high in the trees to search for food. Pink is for orchid mantises. With flattened petal-like arms, they stand out against the green leaves. Orchid mantises look like harmless, beautiful flowers, but these pretenders have strong arms and big appetites, patiently waiting to snatch up any insect that comes too close. Pink is for pygmy seahorses. Pygmy seahorses hide out in plain sight nestled among the pink coral of the ocean floor. They are extremely fragile, so it's important for scuba divers to be careful around them. Even the bright flash of a camera can disturb them. Pink is for roseate spoonbills. Not all pink animals are born pink. When baby spoonbills hatch, they are chubby and covered in downy white feathers. As they grow up, their feathers turn various shades of pink because of pigments in the shrimp they eat. Pink is for Amazon River Dolphins. Amazon River Dolphins are very intelligent, and they have extremely complex ways of hunting. Several dolphins work together as a group to drive fish near the shore, like a pack of dogs herding sheep. With the fish stranded close to land, the dolphins can enjoy a fishy feast together. Pink is for pink fairy armadillos. You won't find these creatures in any fairy tale. Pink fairy armadillos are very real and very, very hard to find. They have flexible, rosy pink shells on their backs and enormous claws that they use to burrow through the dirt. They are only seen by humans when they emerge above ground. This happens so rarely that some armadillo researchers never see them in the wild. Pink is for southern blind snakes. Although this creature looks like an earthworm, you won't find it in your backyard, unless your backyard is in Australia. That is, southern blind snakes use their thick skulls and hard scales to burrow deep into the earth, slithering through the soil to find food. Pink is for Hopkins' rose nudibranchs. Hopkins' rose nudibranch is one of the pinkest creatures in the ocean. It may look like it's made entirely of bubble gum, but don't let that fool you. Hopkins rose isn't gum or a rose. It's really a sea snail without the shell. Instead, it has several finger-like projections that wave freely in the ocean currents. Pink is for naked mole rats. Naked mole rats are you social rodents. This means that they work as a team to survive, with some mole rats digging tunnels and finding food while others defend against attacks or take care of young. Naked mole rats might also one day save human lives. Doctors and medical scientists have recently discovered the rodent's ability to stay cancer-free, which could lead to important advances in the treatment of cancer patients. Not bad for a creature that looks like a pink potato with teeth. Pink is for pink sea stars. Pink sea stars have hundreds of sticky tube feet on their arms, allowing them to cling to rocks on the ocean floor while they search for prey. They also have another trick up their sleeve, or arm, when it comes to feeding. If a sea star comes across prey that is too big to fit in its mouth, it will stick its stomach out through its mouth, wrap it around its meal, 
digest it, and then draw the goopy digested mess back into its body. Some might think this is gross, but seasonal animal explorers know the truth. It's seriously cool. Pink is for hippopotamuses. Hippopotamuses spend the long days in some of the hottest parts of the world. To protect themselves from sunburn, hippopotamuses ooze a thick pink oil all over their skin. This pink sweat acts like an antibiotic sunscreen, so hippos can stay out in the sun all day without getting burned. Pink is for pink slugs. Beneath the, the decaying twigs and leaf litter of the misty forest lies a science slimy secret. Pink slugs produce two types of mucus. One type of slime prevents the slug from slipping on surfaces. The second type is excreted all over the slug's body, protecting it from predators. It is very hard to pick up a slimy slug because they are so slippery. Pink is for pink land iguanas. Pink land iguanas are large reptiles that live on a single isolated volcano on one small island in the Galapagos, sur surviving off cactus pads, fallen fruit, and shrubs. Scientists used to think they were the same as other yellow land iguanas on the island, but in 2009, they took a closer look. Not only were their pink iguanas a special species of their own, but they branched off from the yellow iguanas. It is thought that fewer than 100 of these elusive animals still exist. Pink is for dragon millipedes. Some insects wear pink to blend in, but the dragon millipede wants to stand out. By sporting pink, this millipede sends a message. Stay away, I'm dangerous. If a predator tries to take a bite, dragon millipedes can secrete hydrogen cyanide, a toxic chemical from their bodies. Pink is for red Euracurus. With bright pink faces that stand out against the leaves, red Euracurus are always on the move, leaping and swinging from tree to tree. You aren't supposed to judge a book by its cover, but you can judge a Euracuri by its face. The healthier the Euracuri is, the brighter his face will be. Euracurus with the brightest, pinkest faces are the most attractive to potential mates. Pink is for hairy squat lobsters. Talk about a bad hair day. Hairy squat lobsters, bright pink bodies are covered with purple spots and yellow hairs. Have you ever seen someone with food caught in his mustache? Hairy squat lobsters are, use the delicate hairs on their body to trap microscopic algae, plankton, and bits of fish poop. By combing through its food-filled hairs, the hairy squat lobster has an easy meal on the go. Here's a picture of some of the places where these animals live. I hope you enjoyed some of these weird animals in our world. Um, but most of all, just think about the pink blobfish and you can come to the library and make some blobfish slime if you pick up a packet today.